What's up guys? Today I am going to show you how to get old school DOS games on your iOS device like Duke Nukem 3D, Doom, Elder Scrolls, Heroes of Might and Magic, uh, Metal Gear. Um, so you're going to install DOSPad from litchi.net slash Cydia. I recommend uh, getting the beta version. And you're also going to need iFile and Safari Download Manager. You can bet, get both of these tweaks from uh, Cydia.excelis.com for free. But if you feel like supporting the developers, you can actually get the full priced versions. Um, well, essentially what Safari Download Managers, Manager does, it allows you to download files straight from Safari. It's extremely convenient and I recommend getting it. Um, so after you're installed both of these tweaks, you're going to go to uh, Safari and Google Emo Paradise. Um, in my opinion, it's the best site to get DOS games um, as it has a wide variety of games and um, it also has uh, direct download links without any queues and the download speed is actually quite fast. So, um, you're going to go to ROMs, ISO and games, then scroll down to computers and abandon where DOS games. I am going to get uh, Metal Gear, it's only below a megabyte because I'm recording and my device is uh, pretty slow and I won't be able to run any more faster games. But if you have like an iPhone 4S or iPhone 5, I think you can easily run something like Duke Nukem um, Doom and uh, as iPhone 5s comes out you can actually play uh, something like Elder Scroll Daggerfall which takes up 500 megabytes so um, I also suggest reading all the information you can find about the game on the Emo Paradise page as it contains a lot of uh, useful uh, information about the game for example uh, for Metal Gear you need to uh, mount it as a CD drive and uh, also name the folder uh, GEAR in all caps otherwise it won't work so um, also if you have too much trouble installing a game I suggest just uh, deleting it and getting a new one as it's not worth the trouble so um, after you downloaded your game you go to uh, iFile and travel the, to the downloads folder which is in uh, WAR mobile media downloads and before you extract the zip file you should make a new folder um, otherwise it will uh, scatter the uh, files all around the downloads folder and it's not going to be quite convenient especially if you have any other files in the downloads folder so you're going to uh, copy the uh, zip file to the folder and on our habit, some apps might take uh, quite a long time. And what's interesting, it actually the time doesn't uh, depend on the size of the app, but actually the uh, number of files uh, that it has to extract. For example, you can extract like a one megabyte game 50 times longer than a, I don't know, like a 100 megabyte game. So then you're going to copy. Uh, the game folder to documents and if it's uh, Metal Gear you're going to have to rename it to Gear in all caps so after you're done with that you go ahead and launch DOSPAD beta so if you don't know what you're doing uh, it can actually be quite hard so I suggest looking up looking up some tutorials on the DOS and DOS pad but if you have some experience it shouldn't be too much trouble for you so if you need any more, more tutorials on DOS pad you can feel free to leave a comment and tell me what exactly should I make a video about so um, first of all you're going to unmount the uh, previous D drive with mount UD and then you're going to mount uh, your game folder as a CD drive. You can do that by writing mount D, then the location of the folder, and uh, the little symbol right there 
right before documents send, automatically send you to war uh, mobile so and you're also going to add the uh, TCD-ROM so it knows that it has to be mounted as a CD drive and it's required because some games uh, have to be uh, tricked into thinking that there's actually a CD uh, otherwise they won't work so um, for some apps you're going to have to uh, launch uh, an installation and uh, set things up but for some apps you can uh, straight up launch the uh, X uh, to play and it's going to work but not for all of them and uh, if installing a game is too much trouble as I said before just delete it and get a new game and try that one so um, Metal Gear is actually pretty horrible but I got it just to show you uh, as an example what to do and uh, yeah there are actually a lot of extremely cool games on DOS for example Duke Nukem, Star Wars uh, Dark Forces and I was able to run Star Wars Dark Forces on my uh, first generation iPad on the lowest graphics uh, rather decently so um, yeah thank you for watching and if you want you can watch the rest of the footage of the game oh and by the way if the instructions in this video weren't clear enough and you got your date caught in the ceiling fan I'm going to uh, put some links to uh, threads that I will make in the forums explaining uh, what to do and there will also be the commands you need to write included so um yeah also if there are not any links in the description just check back later as I might have just made the threads after some time. So, yeah.